Hello everybody, today in this exciting tutorial here at J-Hangs Engineering and Multimedia, we're going to talk about how to add louvers to an existing window family. This window family is a free window family that I downloaded off the net. Uh, I'll have the link to it in the, in the description below. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to open the window family. Uh, I had worked on it before, but I think I have the, the unlocked upon version. You can go ahead and double click on yours and it opens in the family editor. Okay, let's wait as it opens. Okay, here we have, we can explore through the family to see. Okay, what I want to do is, uh, I want to get rid of this, uh, this panel section, this glass section, and replace it with louvers. So what we're going to do, we're going to delete this entire section. So I'll select this area, hit delete, then select the glass area, also hit delete. Now when you maneuver through, you see we have an empty, an empty section. So we're going to draw in louvers, we're going to use extrusion, we're going to create an extrusion to, to draw in the louvers. Um, when we go to this panel here, we see through the views, the elevation views. Um, unfortunately, the, the family is in a language I don't understand. I don't know if this is French, but when I look through, I can see this is uh, one of the views, and then this is like this is the, the, the front view. Possibly this is uh, the back view, the, the front and the back view. Okay, well and good. We're going to go through one of the side views so that we can create our extru extrusion. So um, I'll go to this view, draw it. I wonder what that means. <laughs> While in that view, I'll go up here around this section, and this is where we're gonna have to draw our extrusion. So I'll go to create extrusion and the line tool using the line tool in the modify section. I'll draw a line from this side. The inner side up to the outer side. From here up to around there. At an, a fair angle. The angle here we're having 23. Okay. You could go with any reasonable angle. Angle for your for your movers. Okay, in this case I'm having 23. Uh, I'm drawing my line. Then I want to give my extrusion some thickness so it's uh, realistic. And then back up, back up, I'll push it to the outer line, but I ensure that it's in a straight line. So I push it to the outer line that's about here. Click there. Then push this upwards. Back in and then close it. So here is our extrusion shape. Confirm. Uh, when I confirm, I go to my 3D view to preview my extrusion. But when I look around, I don't see my extrusion. That is simply because when I select it, you see it's in minus 100. That is small. Yet, this uh, window family, the family type, you 
see that when we come down the lines, the width is 1.2 meters. So meaning, uh, I'll select my extrusion, and then I'll make it 1.2 so simply we just uh, this extrusion go to the extreme end, their handles, move the handle, move it until it intersects with this edge and then lock it. I go to this other side, I move this edge until it intersects with this edge as well and then I lock it. Now we have our, our louvers locked into place. So I'll send for movement out of it using the up arrow keys so there's no space above. Then when you look at this window, um, this is the inner section, the inner section where the handles will be it open and closing the window. When we go to this other side, this is the outer section. Let's go to the full navigation wheel here. This is the outer section. So now what we're going to do, we're going to copy the louvers to fill the space for that, the space for the ventilation. But before, before we do that, I'm going to go into the formula editor and go ahead and reduce the upper panel section to 300. 300 million times. Okay, that is good. Then we will go to a view where we can possibly duplicate this downwards. I'll choose this view. This is the uh, inner view. Let's see. Exterior view. Okay. This is the outer view. Fine. When I go to this outer view, then I will use the outer view to move, to, to copy and duplicate the louvers to fill the upper panel for the ventilation. So with this louver selected, I press the, the, the copy tool and I move in and press, I uh, will get a point at which I want to copy. Um, Let's say I pick this, I pick this corner point, and when I move that corner point, I move it to this edge here. Then when you copy, we have one copy. I repeat myself. That is ensuring that you have multiple, multiple selected. Ensure that you have multiple points. Move here. Express this edge. Press this edge. Down. Press this edge. Down. 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 Move it slightly lower to fill in the, the tiny, the tiny gap left. Using the arrow keys, I move it slightly down just to fill in that gap. Okay, wow, well, good to go. Now we have our louvers, but we still have one challenge because uh, is it parametric? If we Enlarge the window. Will our louvers enlarge with the wind? That is a question we have to address right now. Now, to address that, we're going to go back into the family editor, the family type. Um, and uh, we look at the, the width is 1.2 meters. Um, I'm going to test 1.5 meters. 
to see if it enlarges with the window. Now, when we test that, we see that the louvers are left behind. So what we are going to do, we are going to, to lock we're going to lock these uh, the edges of this to this uh, edge so that when the window is expanded the width is increased the louvers move along in expansion so to do that without getting it back to a small size I'll just go into the align tool then I, I pick this alignment this side I ensure multiple is selected. I pick this edge, it aligns that side, I lock that edge. I pick this edge, it's aligned that side, I lock that edge. I pick this, lock. This, lock. This, lock. And this, lock. Now when you zoom out, you see that we have our, our window with the louvers extended to 1.5 meters width. So to test further, I'll go back to the family, type editor, and let's try back to 1.2 meters. Apply, and you see it scales down correctly. Let's try 1.8, 1.8, apply. You see it scales correctly up. Now let's try increasing the eye height to 1.5. Apply. You see that it scales correctly, meaning that our window now is fully parametric with the with the louvers added. Okay, let me take it back to normal my window size. I'm using. My default, I'll go with 1.2 and height 1.2 and 1.2 and there we go, there is our window, fully parametric. Thank you for watching, please do remember to subscribe, like and share.